Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $100,976.77. In the past year, I am up $27,582.15. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $10,000. $574.31. Today was a green day for me. I gained $2,187.61 during the day. After hours, I am down $566.52. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, I am down $405. I'm selling Disney $115 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $18. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $186. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $40. I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $885. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $221. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $1,200. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $98. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $6. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.74. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $26,340.94. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.03. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $8,440.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $102.01. My average cost, $60. Total return, $12,603. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $23.40. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $5,000. $875. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $29.74. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $855. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $175.18. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,270. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $66.94. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,000. $848. I have 200 shares of Verizon. 
Verizon is at $40.49. My average cost, $39.31. My total return, $236.10. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $81. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $570.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $114,007.96. The margin used is $111,000. $58.44, which leaves me with $2,949.52 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $47,508.99. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin cold. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $18.93 and I am borrowing $2,000 interest free. So finally, my portfolio is above 100K again. I'm actually at 101,000 right now, which is really nice. I was in the red for about a month. However, things have really turned around. As you can see, I'm basically flat for the month now. In the past month, only down 0.01%. So basically flat and as you can see it was going down and down and down but recently I've made a swift recovery in the past week alone I am up over five thousand dollars so making five thousand dollars in one week that's really good and the thing that really surprised me is Robinhood I did not expect it to jump up this high and stay there as well I mean Look at what's happened in the past month. The stock is up 36.65% in the past month. I was not expecting this. That's why I chose a strike price that was so low. I only chose an $18 strike price. Actually, I chose a $16 strike price and then I increased it to 18 later on. But even $18 is still well below the current price of over $23 per share. So. Yeah, this one really surprised me. It's been going up and up in the past month. Even though the stock price has gone up by a lot in the past month, I still have not changed my strike price from $18 to something like $20, $22. I'm keeping it at 18 for now, but I'll let you guys know if I change that later on. But yeah, things have been going well lately in the past week. It's been recovering really nicely. So that's pretty much it. That's what's been going on. I haven't really changed anything today. If I do change something, I'll let you guys know. But for the time being, I'm mostly just waiting for, for my covered call positions to expire on the 21st. Amazon, Disney, PayPal, and Verizon. These covered calls all expire on the 21st of this month. So that's what I'm waiting for. And then I'll decide what I want to do from there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be making more updates like this in the future, so if you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.